Scientists are fighting on many fronts to save the world's dwindling honeybee population. One of the disorders that devastated the colonies in Poland is nosmosis, or nosema, a common fungi-based disease that affects adult honeybees. Infected worker bees live for a very short time in the summer, about 8 to 12 days, while they normally live 36 days. So the productivity of the whole bee family decreases, and bees also have problems with passing the winter. Scientists theorize that certain pesticides weaken the bee's immune system, making it unable to fight off parasites. After ingesting contaminated food or water, the bees start behaving abnormally and quickly die. It is thought to be one of the main causes that halved the honeybee population in Poland within the past 15 years. Polish scientists say they have discovered a floral extract that is more than 90% effective in saving the bees. On one hand, they decrease the level of nosmosis. We can clearly observe a decrease in the number of spores in the intestines of bees given the extracts. On the other hand, they increase the level of enzymes responsible for the immunological reaction of the insects, enzymes which recognize pathogens, foreign bodies. The new drug is undergoing tests required for its approval. Scientists are also warning that spraying against mosquitoes carrying the Zika virus can also harm bees. Authorities in affected areas are advised to spray insecticides only after dark, when bees are asleep, and to use water-soluble chemicals that kill only the mosquito larvae. This particular strain is very toxic to mosquito larvae, but when it's put in the water, it doesn't hurt the bees at all. As honeybees are major pollinators for fruit and vegetables, scientists say rising awareness about the importance of saving them is critical for the world's food industry. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.